one, I am blind, so what I decided to let myself, I don't know. And I am in a dark place as well. Not the smartest idea I've had. My eyes burn. Hey guys, my name is Jolene Melissa and welcome back to my channel. you guys something new i am planning to dye my hair i dyed my hair for the first time for my 20th birthday and that was july 31st 2017 however i did not like the way they dyed my hair the roots it was way lighter and then on the rest of my hair you could barely see that it was even dyed so I was eagerly waiting to dye my hair again and the reason why I went to a salon is because I was afraid that I was going to mess it up but they end up messing it up anyway so I'm going to just try and do it myself this time and I think this was like around the same color that I chose I wanted a light golden brown so I got this from CVS it's the Garnier Nutri's Nourishing Color Cream in the color 63 light golden brown and if the lighting is a little weird, it's because I'm using my phone as lighting. This is like the colors. I'm like a dark color, so my hair will look a little like this. Hopefully. So I'm going to open this up. And this is how it comes in. I hope you guys don't hear the noise outside. The window is like open, so hopefully you guys don't hear the cars. Like that. <laughs> So then it comes with this. It says A, Garnier Nutri's Nourishing Cream Developer. This is B, Nourishing Color Cream. So this is the actual color. And there's C, Fruit Oil Concentrate. This is why I like Garnier because it had like the oils and stuff and I really like that. And then this is the conditioner and the instructions. Honestly, I'm very nervous to do this. It's my first time ever dyeing my hair on my own. So, wish me luck. It comes with gloves. Step one, get ready. Put on the gloves. This time I'm gonna have those. I'm gonna just get my own. Gloves, check. Twist the tip. You made a noise. Okay, it twists in the tip. Check it out. And it says remove cap from bottle. Then it says to squeeze out the entire content of the cream to B into the developer, which is A. Scroll some, pop it out. Okay. And I'm gonna just put it in here. Oh, that stinks. I'm like twisting it to get every bit out. Completely gone. Look at that. Step three is to snap open C. So I just took scissors and cut it because could it snap it open and then I'll put it in here and every drop is in the bottle step four mix and apply I'm going to detangle my hair and I am just Take a clip and clip in this thing. I'm going to put bouncing on my forehead so that it won't stain it. So I put it on this so it'll be easier. And I have a brush to apply better. 
So I'm just going to start. I am not gonna put it on my roots until like the end. I am so nervous, guys. What if I completely mess up my hair? What if I completely mess up? What's going on with skin? I should have had someone else do this. I don't know why I did this myself for the first time. Oh shoot. Oh, I feel like I'm not nice. So I picked this shirt because I don't care about this shirt. Because I know it's gonna get stained. I feel like I should be standing. Because it was making my eyes water. One, I am blind, so what I decided to let off? I don't know. And I am in a dark place as well. Not the smartest idea I've had. I'm trying not to put a lot so I have enough throughout my whole hair. together and massaging it through to make sure that every single strand has coloring and then I'm coloring more the ends because that's what is more difficult to color because it doesn't get the color easily now I am waiting 20 minutes to dye my roots because my roots dye very easily so I have to wait longer until I could dye my roots and in total, I am going to have my hair dyed for an hour because the longer the better. And my roots, I am actually going to have it for 25 minutes, which is the required time. So after 20 minutes has passed, now I am putting the dye on my roots. And I'm going part by part like I did when I dyed my whole hair. And... Uh, so yeah, I'm just going through all my roots, making sure I go through everything. And once I'm done with that, I just go in with the rest of the dye and put it to the rest of my hair. After 25 minutes were done, I went ahead and washed my hair in the sink because you don't want to stain your tub so i went ahead and washed it on the sink with only the conditioner which was provided for you it was container d the instructions were to rinse it by just using the conditioner and continue rinsing until no coloring came out so that's what i did
Hey guys, so just an update now my hair is dry and um, it's a little bit lighter but not much Since the instructions said not to wash my hair with shampoo just with a conditioner That's what I did and it says to not wash it with shampoo until the next day So tomorrow I'm gonna wash it with shampoo and I am going to update you guys on how it looks after washing it with shampoo this is how my hair was supposed to look since my hair was darker what do you guys think is it true or not i think it didn't come out that light it wasn't this light it was probably like here hey guys so it's the next morning and i just finished washing my hair with actual shampoo for conditioner i used the conditioner they provided which they said to keep using it to make your color last longer and I'm kind of bummed out because the smell of dye doesn't go away so I'm not sure how long it's gonna last but I just hate that smell it smells so strong like chemicals and I thought it was gonna go away with me washing it with shampoo but it didn't so that sucks I will let it air dry again and let's see how it looks afterwards I actually like how it left my hair because usually when I wash it it gets very frizzy and puffy but as you saw in the last clip after i washed it and it air dried it was actually not frizzy so that's good imagine instead of ruining my hair it fixed it instead so let's see how it looks air dried this time and yesterday i didn't put anything on my hair like no oils or anything i just let it air dry without putting anything on it and today i'm not gonna put anything again I think so. If it starts getting frizzy, I might put oil. And I think I'm going to braid my hair. I'll check back with you guys after my hair dries. I'm waiting for it to dry more so I could braid it. So it could be wavy so it won't be just blop, you know. Because I don't want to do anything to it. And I don't want it to look puffy. So I'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys, so I did end up braiding my hair. And this is how it looks. I don't know why because of the light it looks like it's light here and then dark but in reality it doesn't look like that it looks like all one color so it did get a little lighter but not as light as i wanted it and i guess it's understandable because my hair is so dark although it's not black but i guess it's not light enough to get that color so although i didn't get it as light as i wanted it i'm glad that i was able to make it even although it doesn't look like it right now because of the light it's up here so it looks like it's lighter here but it's actually all one color so overall what i think about this product i liked how it didn't damage my hair although i didn't get the desired color my hair did get a little lighter and it did even out my hair it didn't damage it which i am glad of i think i will dye it again the same color to see if it gets even lighter so yeah right now it looks so dark on camera but it doesn't really look that dark it actually does look lighter i don't know why it looks so dark but in person it does not look this dark it looks a little lighter also the dye is only $7.99 so it's a plus i wasted like 150 dollars to dye it in a salon and i didn't even like the way they dyed it so i'm kind of glad i decided to dye it myself because i was able to even it out and it didn't get damaged and yeah and it's worth it because it's only $7.99 so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed i was very nervous at first to dye my hair but i did it so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed remember to like comment share and subscribe and remember to turn on the post notifications on so that you will get notified when i upload a video remember to love yourself first and i will see you on my next video bye